welcome to my kitchen. We're filming the DIY Chipotle video. Yes, I know you're excited. I know I'm excited. Let's do this. I just have to put a disclaimer out there. I did do a lot, a lot, a lot of research, like an unhealthy amount of research to find close recipes to the exact thing. Nobody knows the actual recipes, but you know, I just wanted to get it close as possible. So um, I spent time on blogs and all kinds of stuff and compared and like came up with my own recipes for everything. It is really, really, really close to the actual Chipotle flavor. So um, the only thing that's a little bit different is the chicken. I kind of do my own thing with the chicken, but everything else is amazing. You guys are going to love it. The rice, all of it. And you can use a lot of these things in your other everyday recipes. So I am so excited to finally share this video with you guys. I'm going to be doing a lot more cooking videos with my mom. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Give me some feedback. Let me know your thoughts. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! So first we're just going to take this jalapeno and cut it in half and get all those seeds out because it would be way too spicy if you kept those in there. Just take a spoon and carve those out. Do not use your fingers because you will cry afterwards. The spice will definitely get underneath your fingernails. So just dice those up and I'm going to take my French chef knife and just run that through there to get it really tiny. And then I'm just going to throw that in the pile with my sweet corn. I think it's best to use canned sweet corn. Then I'm going to take my onion and do the same thing, just make sure I chop that up really, really finely. And as soon as I'm done with that, just throw it in the pile. I washed and dried my cilantro and then you just pick all of the leaves off this is a little bit time-consuming but um, you'll see how much I end up with so it's about like a handful that you want to put in there and you just run your knife through that make sure it's finely chopped and throw it in with everything else So off camera I also did add a lot of lemon and lime. You want to make sure you're getting equal parts of that and you're going to put in some salt and just give that a swirl. So mild salsa is pretty much the same, instead you're just adding it to tomato. So chop up that cilantro, the red onion, you can throw in some jalapeno if you want and just throw it in the bowl. Same thing again, I just squeeze the lemon and lime in equal parts and put that in there. That's about how much I used for the last salsa. And you just want to put in some salt as well. And then that is pretty much done. So you can put those in the refrigerator and let those sit and marinate. And then the rice, I was really particular about. I wanted this to come out perfect. So the ratio I figured out was one to one. So one cup water, one cup rice. So this is three cups right here and I'm just adding in a bay leaf and you want to cook that on high heat to a boil and then once it's done boiling close the lid and put it on low for about 17 to 20 minutes and then once that's done just take it out and throw that in your bowl I'm just adding some extra virgin olive oil and I'm making sure to fluff that up with my spoon and it's really important to let this cool afterwards for about five minutes. Then you want to add the citrus in and um, you can also put the salt in right now too. And do the same thing, just fluff up the rice, mix it around and let that sit for another five to ten minutes. After that's done cooling down, you can add in the cilantro and make sure that it's not really hot or else you're going to brown the cilantro. All right, chicken, I really did my own thing. I just took some Trader Joe's chicken and I cut it up into cubes. Then I added lots of salt and I also added 
this tequila lime blend that came from Whole Foods. And then I added some Pensley's paprika and it's smoked. And then I also, at the very end, added some Thai chili. It's really, really spicy. I think my mom got it at a Korean market, so I made sure not to use too much. Didn't want to kill my family. <laughs> that around and then you want to throw it in the pan with some extra virgin olive oil make sure the pan is pretty hot I'd say like medium to high heat and you want to cook that for about 10 minutes and then that's what it ends up to look like it's pretty orange and it's like full of flavor and really really juicy so now moving on to the guacamole, you just want to cut up the avocado and throw it in a bowl and smash it with a cup. This cuts down on the smashing time so much. I know it looks weird, but it's so effective. And then we're just going to add that same citrus lemon lime blend and some green salsa. And then off camera, my mom also decided to add some garlic salt. Now onto the peppers, you just want to get some extra virgin olive oil, put that in a pan, make sure it's on high, and you want to move that around, make sure it's evenly coating the pan, and throw in your red onion. Let that saute for a little bit just to get the flavors coming out, and then you can add some garlic salt or whichever seasoning salt you want to use. Then I just threw in some green pepper and I let that cook probably for about 10 minutes or so until everything is soft and now we are done. So this is what it looks like after you're all finished. The only thing we did off camera is cut up some cheese and instead of using sour cream my family uses Greek yogurt because it tastes exactly the same and it's not as fattening. And I also personally love mine with the Tabasco chipotle sauce. That stuff is amazing. You definitely have to try it. So this is what my plate looked like. Yes, it's massive, don't judge me. <laughs> and if you guys decide to make this, please tag me as Faye's Kitchen or at Faye 101 on Instagram. And I will definitely be sure to check that out. I'd love to see if you guys make this. So I will see you in my next video. I love you guys, bye.